story time includes Carrot and Pea, an unlikely friendship by Morag Hood, as well as The Enormous Carrot by Vladimir Begin. Hi, story time friends. We've missed you so much. It's Miss Kate. Miss Stacy. Miss Misty. We can't wait until we can see you in person again. We've recorded some stories for you, but we thought before we do those that maybe we should start with our welcome song. All of you guys that come to our story times know the welcome song. We're going to say our names. You can say your names when we sing it. All right, are you guys ready? Miss Kate is here today. Miss Kate is here today. We're all so happy that Miss Kate is here today. Woo! Miss Kate. Miss Stacy is here today. Miss Stacy is here today. We are all so happy that Miss Stacy is here today. Woo! Miss Misty is here today. Miss Misty is here today. We are all so happy that Miss Misty is here today. Woo! And all of you guys are here. You, you are here today. You are here today. We are all so happy that you are here today. Woo! Thanks for joining us, everyone, and enjoy the stories that we've read for you. Carrot and Pea, an unlikely friendship. This is Lee, and he is a pea. All of his friends are peas. Some are light green, some are dark green. Except for Colin. Hmm, he looks a little different, doesn't he? Colin is not a pea. That's why. He is much too tall and much too orange. And he can't roll. He didn't stop him from trying though. Or bounce. He just kind of goes thunk. thunk. And he isn't very good at hide and seek. He stands out from all the other green peas. But Colin is an excellent tower. Because when the peas try to do it, they just fall over. A fantastic bridge for them to roll across. And a great slide for them to slide down. Whee! Colin isn't at all like Lee and the other peas. And that's just the way they like it. He's still their friend. He's a little bit different. But they each can do some very special things. Guys, I think it's time for a finger rhyme. Let's get our gardens out. Anyone that comes to story time with me knows this one. So here's our garden and let's get our rakes out. Okay, are you ready? This is my garden. I'll rake it with care. And some flower seeds I will plant there. The sun will shine. The rain will fall. My garden will blossom, growing up tall. Look how tall those flowers are. Good job, everybody. The enormous carrot. Early one spring, Daisy and Floyd planted seeds in their garden. Each day they watered and weeded. Everything grew exactly as they had planned. Then one morning, Daisy and Floyd discovered an enormous carrot growing in the middle of their garden. I wonder what they fed that carrot to make it grow so big. This carrot is ready to pick, said Floyd. So Floyd tried to pull the carrot out of the ground. But the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. I'll pull it out, said Daisy. But Daisy tried to pull the carrot out of the ground. But the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Then Daisy and Floyd tried together to pull the carrot out of the ground. They tugged and they lugged. But that carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Just then, their friend Mabel came by. Will you help us pull this carrot out, asked Daisy. Naturally, said Mabel. So Daisy, Floyd, and Mabel tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They heaved and they hoed, but the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Well, just then, their friend Henry came by. Will you help us pull this carrot out, asked Mabel. Glad to, said Henry. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, and Henry tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They grunted, they groaned, but the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Just then, their friend Gloria came by. Will you help us pull this carrot out, asked Henry. Absolutely, said Gloria. 
maybe with all their teamwork, it'll work this time. Let's see. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, and Gloria tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They teamed and they towed, but the carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Just then, their friend Buster came by. Will you help us pull this carrot out, asked Gloria. Sure thing, said Buster. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, Gloria, and Buster tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They stretched and they swayed, but that carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Just then, their friend Claire came by. Ooh, Claire has a nice ride. Will you help us pull this carrot out, asked Buster. I'd be delighted, said Claire. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, Gloria, Buster, and Claire tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They hollered and they hauled, but that carrot stayed put. It wouldn't come out. Even the tractor couldn't help. But just then, their friend Lester came by. May I help you pull the carrot out, asked Lester. You're much too small, said Claire. Let me try, said Lester. Lester's just a little mouse. Do you think his muscles are strong enough to pull it out? Let's see. So Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, Gloria, Buster, Claire, and Lester tried together to pull the enormous carrot out of the ground. They tugged and they lugged. They heaved and they hoed. They grunted and they groaned. They teamed and they towed. They stretched and they swayed. They hollered and they hauled. And all at once, the enormous carrot finally came out. And the poor friends, they went flying everywhere. I guess their friend made the difference, even though he was tiny. So then Daisy, Floyd, Mabel, Henry, Gloria, Buster, Claire, Lester, and all their friends ate every bit of that enormous carrot until it was all gone. It looks like they had carrot soup and carrot juice and carrot ice cream and carrot sauce, and carrot pie. I'm sure they had carrot cake and carrot cookies, and a gigantic carrot feast. And that afternoon, Daisy said, I can't wait to see what comes up tomorrow. Neither can I, said Floyd. But first, huh, it's time for an enormous rest. Uh-oh, maybe tomorrow the tomatoes will be enormous. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. Bye.